So in this video, I wanted to go over APIs and this is going to be an addition to that last video I made where I went ahead and explained APIs and, you know, simple terms. But in this video, I want to draw it out and I want to actually do an API call with you so that you can fully understand what's going on behind the scenes. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm on Excali Draw. I'm going to go ahead and explain what we were talking about in the last video. So basically in the last video, we were talking about how APIs basically allow access to a database through some way, shape, or form, or data, okay? And you can use APIs to get certain data, put certain data, post certain data, and delete certain data, okay? If you have full access, you'll be able to do post and delete, but most of the time, you'll just be doing get. So the get is basically the main function that you need to know when you're dealing with APIs. Uh, these put, post, delete, uh, just a, a quick reminder is put updates, uh, post creates, and delete deletes, <laughs> and then get just gets the data, so it returns. And, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about REST APIs. So basically, HTTP, HTTP, uh, it uses this protocol in order to get, put, post, and delete. So Based on this, you should have a kind of a good overview of from the last video of how APIs work, you know, that sort of thing. And in this example, let's go ahead and delete this. I'm going to explain, you know, how this works in action. So I, in the last video, I kind of just went over and gave you like examples of a server, you know, giving the chicken fried steak. But in this case, uh, so we have a database called anime. And I say this because I have a, a an example coming up. So basically, you can get an API. So it, let's just say this anime database has a bunch of anime names, you know, uh, quotes, all that. And we want to use APIs to access this data. Okay, so what we can do is we can get the, uh, using a certain get function, we can get the APIs or the, the data through the API. So what I'm going to do is I have this. It's called Bruno. Let me open up Bruno. So, so basically this website here is called Gcon API. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's an open source, uh, API for the most active online manga community, you know, and this is the return. This is what you could do with the return. So based on this get method, as you can see, it gets all this information in JSON. It's kind of a lot. But I'm going to break it down so you kind of understand through example. So this thing's open source. It uses REST APIs, you know, parsers. There's a bunch of uh, cool stuff with this. But what I want to talk about is the, you know, just an example API. So, you know, this goes through all of the JSON, like, or the, the not the JSON, the, the configurations for using this API. So, you know, you got the rate limiting, caching, it caches stuff. And these are all headers that you can add to your API, which I'll explain in a minute. You can have the responses, you know, 200 is good, 304 is not required. This is what I was talking about with these HTTP responses. These are uh, super important to kind of understand and get a, uh, you know, kind of an understanding of how they work because you'll be dealing with these a lot. And you'll have JSON error responses. So basically, this is how the errors, error response is going to look. And you come down here, the status, type, you know, it explains what's going on. And the caching... And it goes down and it starts listing the API functions. Or I, don't, I guess it's called functions. I don't know. Some people call it endpoints. But in my head, I think of functions. You know, we call this function to get this data. So anywho's, based on all these APIs, you know, there's a whole bunch of them. Get, and in this case, it's open source. So it's all Git. But on a, on a database where, you know, like maybe internally, like a private database, you'll be able to do put, post, delete, you know, that sort of thing. So anywho, let's get right into this example. So basically, I'm going to be using this software called Bruno. And Bruno is basically a API caller locally on your machine. You don't have to do any setup. You know, instead of going and coding this whole thing, you could just test the APIs and get the response. And then you can, you know, use the coding and programming stuff later if you wanted to. But I created a new collection. This is basically just a bunch of API calls that we can do. And I have this Git. I've created a Git. So basically, 
here, I'll go ahead and, and do it with you. So if I go here and do a new call, see so it's going to ask HTTP or GraphQL, which I think this website uses, uh, allows GraphQL. Let's see. Don't know. But anyways, you can set up GraphQL using this. So basically this, if I'm going to do a response and we're going to do like get random anime. Okay. That'll be the name. That's only for us. And then we need this URL. Okay. This is that URL that I was talking about in the last video. So every API is going to have a URL and you know, the, the, the endpoint that you can call. So what we do is we can come over here to the documentation and get the random, see it here, get random anime. That's what we want. Okay. We just want a random animate. This is the return of it. So what we do is we can come here and you can see this is the API uh, call or endpoint that we need. So we copy it here. Good. Wait, can you see that? Let me make sure you can see that. Yeah. So you can go ahead and copy it and then come over here and you go to get and paste that here. So it's going to get from this database version four random anime. And there, there's, you can go in detail and figure this out yourself, but this is basically how you read this. I'm going to create. And so in the body, we don't have a body, the header, you can add these headers that I was talking about to specify what, um, what, how, how do you want to set this API call, call up? So these headers, so like you can do the expires, you can set up, you know, the last modified response that we get or the X response, X request fingerprint. And what you basically would do is copy this and come over here and we have a new header, boom, and this would be the value. Okay, easy, easy money. But if, you, if you're wondering like, okay, well, how do I know what headers are? You can literally just go to search and put uh, rest HTTP headers and it'll give you, there's usually like a set uh, list of them, like query and stuff like that, but you could do more research on that. I'm, I'm sure every every uh, API is going to have a different type of header. But anyways, let's get right into this uh, API call. So I'm, I'm just going to do a regular call. So we have this, this open source, boom, we run it. So basically what's happening? Let me move my camera so you can see. So basically we did this API call, okay? And here is the response. So it gave us a random anime. What, which one is this? I don't know. We'll have to go through, but basically you have to read through here and this is a bunch of anime. So if we go to the image URL, what is this? Copy this, Let's go to a new tab and search what this is. So I don't know what type, type of anime this is, but let's do another, let's get another random anime. Boom. Got a new one. Crimson Lotus. I don't know. I've never heard of that anime, but let's search it up. So basically, this is an anime that we caught from this this uh, API. So we're going to do it again. Which which one is this? the rifle? Rifle is beautiful. There's even an embedded URL. Uh, let's see what this is. I'm curious. I haven't done too much uh, uh, research into some of this stuff, but let's see. Okay, I think I've had enough of this. But anyways, as you can see, this is the anime that it called. So it called us this anime. We can get all this information and use it. So basically, if we're going to like, you know, if we were like front end web devs, we could take this API call and start manipulating this data. You know, like, oh, man, here's the synopsis. We could put a, a square, you know, synopsis or explicit genres, themes, you know, like all this stuff, my anime list. So we could take that data and do something with it from this REST API. So, you know, as you can see, this is very powerful. This is very useful. And I wanted you to kind of get an understanding of what I was talking about in that past video, basically, you know, explaining APIs as a beginner, as a, you know, a, a tutorial, but this basically gives you a, you know, in the field example of how to use APIs. And you can do this yourself, man. Like literally hop on, hop on here and download Bruno, come to this website. And as you can see, like, this is what, this is pretty cool. This, uh, whatever the, the front page, as you can see the UI, like you could do so much and there's so many different, uh, 
open source APIs. I'll put a link in the description of how I got this. I just searched up like on Reddit, like open source APIs, and it gave me a list of GitHub. So I'll, I'll put that list in the description. But man, this is an API. And so what I wanted to explain also is that you can take this, uh, this these API calls. So this Git and actually do this inside of a programming language. So if we do a REST API call in PowerShell, we can literally come over here, like Microsoft has its own, like a uh, PowerShell has its own function that you could run in order to, uh, you know, it's just a function that's you just input, like here's a URL, our, our API URL and the body that we want and the credentials. And also like in this case, I used a an API with no credentials, open source, you know, no auth, but you would want to put your API keys here. So you know, here in the environment, you can configure an environment and do like here, anime rest, and you can add these variables, API, and then just type in the key, you know, you can add this and then use these variables in your headers, bodies, scripts, you know, you could do a lot here. And I wanted to explain how this works because, you know, this is, this is cool stuff. And once you understand it, once you know how it works, then you, you're not, that black box is gone. Like, like from not knowing to knowing you kind of know what you're talking about now. Like you kind of see how REST APIs can be used and and how the, how like if somebody asks you in an interview or if somebody asks you, you know, like, hey, can you use an API to do this for me? You won't be like flabbergasted and think, man, I don't know what APIs are. And that's kind of what I wanted to get across in this video, man. I wanted to give you just a quick, here's APIs. Here's what you need to know. You know, here, here's what you could do with it. And, you know, in this example, I only used anime as a, uh, as a, example but there's thousands of api calls you can get the weather you can get the sports you can get all kinds of stuff and most of the jobs are moving towards apis so most of these databases they're not going to be wanted to do uh like sql and you know that sort of thing so like in the past it would be sql to access the database you know you got to go sql called get uh what is that select from where that sort of thing here you use a rest api you can get everything you know, I want all a random API and people can build and, and program APIs specifically for certain things, which is a whole field in itself. And also you can use GraphQL, which I was saying, basically GraphQL, instead of getting all of an anime or something, you can get specific parts. So like an example is if GraphQL was set up for this, an example would be, I would want only, I would only want to get type and title or, or for example, let's see. Let's see what, what I could do. If I only wanted to get the year, okay, and I didn't want all this other junk along with it, then GraphQL would kind of format and change that data in order to allow us to grab only the year. So that's a quick explanation of GraphQL. But man, hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more in-depth examples like this, you know, I'm, I'm starting to get better with this, uh, this you know, this video creations and don't forget to check out my website. I'm creating a course on how to start and you know, anything career related. I got that, that handbook going down. It's called career mastery handbook. I got it down the link in the down. Check out the link in the description and I'm building that now. So if you put your, put your uh, email, if you signed up for my website, I'll give it to you free cause I'm making it. So it, you're not going to get anything, but I'll, I'll go ahead and put your, your data isn't free, like you got it. First 10 people. So let me know. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.